Dander here, and you thought I was dumb Fallout New Vegas. Well, I was at the time, until I, re I learned that this game has DLC. So I installed all four DLCs. Actually, all five. And those DLCs are... If I had to take a guess on which order... This, this is Dead Money. This is Honest Hearts. This is something else. What's what's it called? Uh, Dead Money, Honest Hearts. I have no idea on the R2. And then uh, the Gunrunner's Arsenal. That's actually how I got my free new weapon, which is Sleepy Time. I'm the Battle Rifle. And finally, the Fat Man. You can actually buy. Five different, four different types of outfit. But anyway, drain, drain gate into the interior, into the part of the hook bunker. Now apparently, this is the entrance into what I, which, one I think is dead money. Why do you look like Benny? For cloud, jar of cloud, residue. No idea what that is. Boy, I can't leave. The Sierra Madre. Oh, it's right here. Dead Might. Dead Might takes you to an extremely dangerous area of, of the. Mojave Wasteland, a one-way journey until your business at the Sierra Madre's Fist. In normal, you are encountering new traps, enemies, and new companions whose lives are tied to in yours. In Harco, you'll be fighting for as well a toxic sea that goes or so trains are, are more valuable and so are you. Definitely is recommended for experienced carriers, level twenty plus. If you're up to the challenge, continue on the side of the grand opening. Wait, it has been for 200 years. Seek out the radio signal in the bunker. Ah, let's open this turbo. Oh, so it could be... So, okay, so this okay, so is most definitely movie of some sort. Not that one. Reported. Maybe that one. Could be. We need a signature. God, I just want to do this little fashion movie. Alright, I'm doing this little fashion movie. I know what well, that is. It's A. Let me try breaking four. Okay. So B A B couldn't be the wait P E it could be sleeping. Sleeping four. It could be it could be steaming. It could be. Sneaking? I have no idea. Wait, no, I did sleep. It. I'll risk it. Ah, whatever. I don't really care. Now, the other thing I do know is as soon as I walk into that room, I'm gonna get knocked out. Oh. And that is the only thing I. No for a fact about the quest. So we've unfortunately been gassed. Oh, if you're worrying about the shades? I'm in some reason suffering from my my, my eye pain. New follow New Vegas. Dead money. Money, 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 money.
You've heard of the Sierra Madre Whoa. Casino. We all have. The legend, the curses, foolishness about it lying in the middle of the city of the dead, buried beneath a blood-red cloud, a bright, shining monument luring treasure hunters to their doom. The world's most famous stars and entertainers were invited to its grand opening. An invitation was a sign of exclusiveness. The opening was supposed to symbolize a road to a brighter future. Not just for the world, but for all who came to its doors. A chance for anyone to begin again. Except the Sierra Madre never opened. The war froze it in time, like a big flashbulb going off. The grand opening, one big ending of humanity. It's still out there, in the wastes, preserved, just waiting for someone to crack it open. But getting to it, that's not the hard part. It's letting go. Letting what go? Oh, the origin of ghost people. Who are ghost people? Are missing their strange out to the holographic ghost that filled the city streets? What are you talking about? So I think that's two new enemies. Uh, ghost people and holographic ghost. Are you listening? Good. From now on, when I talk, listen and follow my instructions. Play stupid. Play clever. Make the mistake of saying no. That collar on your neck will go off and take your head with it. Collar? What are you talking about? It's like that pit boy on your wrist. Except filled with explosives. A little radio of the old world. Just needed some to Do what I say, and the collar will go off. Refuse? Try and run? Disobey me? I'll kill you and find someone else. Get in. There's no escape from here until I let you go. The sooner you accept your situation, the better. Then maybe you better tell me we're here. I'm not going to help you. <laughs> that part just kills me, guys. Oh, what do you want? That structure you see above the fountain. The Sierra Madre Casino. You need to break inside. Too many years in the making. But to get inside, avoid its traps. You'll need to gather a team. As I found, one cannot do it alone. Sarah Fries says who? Around the hill are three other collars like yours. Collar 8, 12, and 14. Find all three and get them here to the phone. Then we'll talk to them. And should you get any ideas about killing each other and taking the treasure of the Sierra Madre for yourself, a warning. All your callers are linked. One of you dies, you all die. If that's what it takes to make you cooperate, so be it. Okay, alright, so find the other three people with bomb callers and bring them back here. I've downloaded the instructions and markers on your pit boy in case you forget. And yes, I have access to that device on your wrist. Get the other three here after that. I'll have more instructions. For you. Okay, then. Do this. I'll let you go. I'll let all of you go. That's all I need to know. Good. If necessary, I will guide you through the villa's broadcast systems. If you get lost, return here and I'll direct you. I've downloaded instructions on an audio log to your pit boy in case you can't read. If you forget why you're here, let my voice remind you. Let go and leave the world behind at the Sierra Madre Grand guns? Opening this October. This man took all my guns. Has your life taken a turn? Troubles beset you? This man has taken literally everything so, from me. The Sierra Madre oh, look. Casino, in all its glory, is inviting better. you to begin again. Come to a place where wealth, uh, excitement, that's... and intrigue 
Let's mark this on the map. Okay, fine dog at the police station in the Veralta. Uh, I probably can't go there. Oh, I didn't realize I'm not even twenty bullets. Um, where are we going? Drive one to the play marker that is on the map. Uh, oh, door. Anyone in here? Doesn't. Watch out for the villa inhabitants. They're difficult to kill unless you chop them apart. If you can, blow them up or disintegrate them. Well, if you didn't take my flipping weapons, that might have been a bit easier. But hey, you took my flipping weapons. Let me search it. Oh, this doesn't even kill them. Alright, time to move. So pretty much this thing just knocks them on conscious. You see, I need to crank the ball. I need to crank the ball. I voice up by a lot because I could not hear that conversation at all. So you said radios cause it? Oh, wait, I see it. Something on that side of the room is setting my finger off. Vending machine code steady. Turn the noise off. Working on it, dog. Holding cell. Oh, nothing over here. Be quiet. Okay. Patient. Gleam of healing. Thanks, buddy. You're not making this easy, so I've no healing. Come on. Door. I'll get the weapons of mine today, so nothing more. Wow, that was very bright. Alright, uh, Sir Madre Armor. Beat the dumb suit. Eighth Vision. Sure. Alright, ghost sight. What's, what's this ghost sight stuff do? No idea. Careful. I miss one of these things and I am I am dead. Anything here doesn't appear to be chips. Weapon machine code repair kit. Saw the letter. 
pictures I scratched on the villa walls. A little farther. Follow my voice. That's it. The one in the cage? Dog. I had to lock him up. He keeps... disobeying me. Where is it? Filing cabinet, more junk. Wow, there's so much junk to pick up. I'm just picking, I'm picking up, it's wondering why I'm picking up all this junk. I'm picking up because I'm, because I'm pretty sure it's going to be useful. Will that be for selling, for bartering, or for other stuff? Ooh, we got some uh, buff out stuff. That makes no sense, right? Why wouldn't you just give me, let me keep my items? Uh, Wait, that's me. It makes way more sense if you want somebody to help you to let them keep their items. But anywho. Where? Oh, okay, we're not in the room yet. Uh, junk. There you are. That's me, there on the table. The disc. My voice. Can't take any chances, though. You may be some victim who simply stumbled down here. If so, can't let you let Dog out. No, not yet. If you're who I think you are, you came to fetch Dog. Use him to drag others here. Now I'll use you and that pip boy you're wearing. You're smart, clever. The key to Dog's cage is simple. Take my voice to the cage above. Let me speak to the beast inside. Then you and I, we can talk. See, sadly for you, I'm too smart for you. Dog, back in the cage. What have we here? You weren't who I was expecting. I'm disappointed. Still, even if you aren't my intended guest, you take direction. Good. You can't have been an idiot to figure out how to release me from my cage. Or perhaps you are, with that leash on your arm and the one around your neck. With our collars and manacles, why, we may as well be kids. What has happened? What happened to your voice? I'm the voice of reason. I sleep sometimes. Down in the basement. In the cage. Now that I'm awake, Dog goes back in the cage. Dog knows I'm here, but can't do anything about it. I'm his... conscience. Keep him tame. Keep him from hurting us. Doing foolish things. I've been trapped in here for some time. Then you come along and let me out. So, you opened my cage for a reason. Now, I want to know why. I'm assuming brain damage is usually the result of prolonged. Stealth boy, you have multiple personalities or some problem causes. I'm looking for some of a collar like mine. Where is your collar? Oh, I do science. That's the easy explanation. The one humans use. Pre-war technology. As if it's the cause of all ills, mind and body. I needed to come out of the cage to protect dog from clever humans like you. Do you see these wounds of his covering his skin? The bear trap on his arm. He placed his own hand in it. The name he carved in his chest. To remind him of who he is, he inflicts pain on himself to silence me when all I try to do... <sighs> he cuts hurts and tries to murder me out of him. 
He won't succeed. Just makes me angrier. Dog is the beast. We simply change cages. Like the ones here. Uh, I was looking... Wow, there's a lot of... Yeah, I was looking for someone with a car like mine. Where is your car? It's close. Closer than I'd like. Dog's been into things. Needs to think before he eats. Chew before he swallows. All the He's collars in his stomach. Eager that way. Now the collars are part of me. Inside. I can feel its electronic heartbeat clicking and burning down below. Like before. It was cold and heavy before going in the cage. Now you're here, and it's pulling and kicking again, tugging like a leash. Interesting. Uh, is that I didn't switch on. Is that your car is active? You want this car? Maybe she can go around. Your stomach. Uh, if you have a car inside, that's fine. Then switch on. Really? Yet it led you here to me, and now you're here, and it's burning a hole in my guts. Maybe it's crying for its owner. How the hell did you or whatever eat one of those guys? They detach. When segmented, they look like nothing more than metallic rad scorpions. And if they're attached to neck flesh, warm, red. Ah. Dog doesn't care what's on the body he's crushing in his hands. He'll mangle it, twist it, make it fit until he's full. Dog can't help himself. Hungry. So one's God and the dog. And now the collar's inside. Alive again. And we're trapped here until it goes cold. Uh, forget I have any questions. You wouldn't have locked yourself in here without some of your key to let you out. The key? Why, it's the old man. The one who brought us here. I hid the key on me so Dog wouldn't know. I just need the old man to show up so he and I can talk. If Dog was in control when the old man appeared, well, he would just do whatever he commanded, as always. And I can't have that. Uh, if you have the key in there, the old man can order Dog to open the cage? Dog obeys. Yes. Why? Do you have some means of contacting the old man? I can play his voice, yes. I have an audio log from him on my big boy. You... don't play it. If you do, I'll find a way to get out of the cage. End you. I'll murder you, crush your arms and legs until... No. 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 Although it may not matter. Nope, God. Yeah, Mazzy, your multiple says there's some trauma caused us. Trauma? Do you see the. Oh. As if I had a choice. Sometimes instinct takes over, and that's when I go into the cage. It's like curiosity that way. After all, you wouldn't have put that collar on by choice. Perhaps it was your curiosity that caused that hand to close on your neck. Well, he's not wrong. I have other questions. Uh, you wouldn't have to flex the key. Okay, come down, follow him. Follow me, bully, I won't do it. No, you wouldn't. If you did, you won't escape this place alive. I'd shatter every one of your limbs to splinters and leave you here. You think I'm afraid of your collar exploding, killing us? No. I'll leave you breathing, then keep walking until my collar goes cold. I'll prop your broken body in view of the Sierra Madre so you can see what you came to steal. Forever out of reach as you die. I can't, I'm... I gotta convince you I'm not here for the ceremony of a man, so I'll prove it. If the power of luck is the case, I'm going to prove it whether or not, by who they are. I can't. 
I convince you I'm so I'll prove it. Prove it. At the part of the thoughts, I'm gonna let prove by not doing it. Hmm. No. No, you're not. Even though dogs more docile, easier to control. You may regret this. This place. This place is where creatures like dog can survive. The people that fill its streets. He is as vicious, more vicious than them. His hunger can help you more than I can. When I am in control, this shell is difficult to fight in. Uh, what do you mean? The inhabitants of the Va... They are difficult to kill. They need to be chopped apart, hacked on the ground, disintegrated if you can. They are difficult to kill, but not to devour. And Dog is always hungry. If he is with you when they fall, he will fall on them, end them. If I am with you, fighting will be far more difficult. If Jai is more helpful, we can manage. <laughs> I am not sure you belong here. No, you don't belong here. Yet, you came this far. And I'm not interested in remaining here any longer. I'll unlock the cage. All right, let's get out of here. Very well. God is giving you in my footsteps perk. This perk grants you a bonus of stealth as well as the ability to step lightly around place traps. Why, thank you. Talk to you. If it isn't the clever one, what do you want? Oh, uh, who's the one brass here? I don't know what the man brass here. Alright, I want to. Uh, how do you switch back and forth between voices? All it takes is the right command. Whenever Dog hears the. his master giving orders, I go back in the cage. So that leash on your wrist. And the one on your neck. I won't truly be free to express myself until every trace of that voice is destroyed. Still, if you ever want to speak to me, bark my audio log at him. The one in the police station. That'll call me out. Why does that make him go away? Dog is afraid of me as long as the master isn't around. Why do you put Evers in the word master before? The master, Elijah, reminds Dog of someone from long ago. His leader, commander, commanders. The master was a strong personality. Personalities as well. Dog is slavish, was conditioned to serve the master until death. The old man, Elijah, Merely came along and opened that door in Dog's mind. Now, Dog does whatever the old man wants. Sounds like it makes you mad. Mad? Mad doesn't even begin to describe. There's not a word for the hate I feel inside. It's consuming. Twists every thought to red. After all that's laid ruin to the world. Again and again, I thought at last we could be free. Thought Dog could be free. No. No, the world's always got another cage. Waiting, keeping everything you want, just out of reach. It's not my daughter do that. Angers you. Oh, what does it mean that angers you so much? Gather others, drag them here. Fetch, like an animal and hurt them if they resist. Dog doesn't even blink. Even hear their cries when he's twisted their arms full circle. Fragile things, 
screaming on the ground. To listen to him, commanding Dog to hurt others. And Dog just nods, eager and willing to serve. Uh, can't you do anything? Do anything? Me. Me, Dog puts in the cage, hurts himself to try and drown out my voice when all I want to do. Uh, I'm sorry, man. Never mind. Useless. Finally had to start fighting back, screaming on my own. Had to take matters into my own hands, lock Dog up. You're trying to protect our heavy and control hurt him. You want to protect him? I've watched over Dog for so long. Tried to stop him from hurting others, killing others. Quiet that mindless howling instinct of his. He doesn't understand. He has the brain of a child. He knows when he does wrong. He just can't help himself. Why can't you control him? The instinct is stronger than me. Dog is stronger than me. He's just a child. I don't know when I first spoke, or when I first started thinking for myself. It was so long ago. I slept for a long time before. I want to believe I was the one in control once. I don't know anymore. Then Dog got a new master, a new voice, and I woke up to protect him. That is, that is awful. It's awful, man. Right, this costume is nice. It's pretty terrible range. Fish trap. Alright, does this do more damage than the. Ooh, wait. Double cosmic knife and double cosmic pistol. That is 23. That. So that is 23. That. Okay, so this does more. So what I'm gonna do is set up like, just like that. So you just have this. Switch to the knife when I actually manage to kill him. Wait, where are we going now? We are going to get to Demo Dino at his hideout in the residential district. Oh, that's nice. Throwing knife spears and knife spear. No, not him. The other guy. Right now, I need to basically take as much. Oh, Pip boy, maybe I'll tear it off your arm, wear it on my neck. I can still kill you, keep. Them. Actually, no, I can't. I can't actually threaten anyone here because they could just pretty much kill me whenever they wanted. Ooh, what's this? Fighting machine. This unusual looking crafting station, as you approach, lines of tiny graphic items appear on the displaying tray. Wireframe schematics and lists of com consumables. The machine can assemble and package for the customer. There is a slot on the side with a Serena symbol. The slot does not look part of the original design. So we can make steady. Yeah, I like some other like steady. Okay, now I think pack of cigarettes. Mm. Food. There's a lot of food here. 
They all cost five each. That's pretty bad. Those machines feed on Sierra Madre chips. There's codes that unlock other things, too. Thank you. So, New Quest Medical District. Search for Christina in the Medical District. I want to find this other guy first. Alrighty then. Picking up signals near your location. Detonators. Watch for traps. The idiot swallowed his collar. Ooh, right there. Right behind you. Hi. Man, we're getting a lot of these chips now. Seeker knife spear. Duct tape. Um. Whoa. Almost got away. And the idiot's hunger screws it up. Sorry, little Sally. There's so many traps. So places we need to explode. Almost got away. The idiot's hunger scrubs it up. Another mine and more chips. Kill this one before they call others. Thank you, God. Um, let's continue on, shall we? There's something down there, but I have a feeling that red mist is probably gonna kill me. That's I think they're trapped, Jesus. That's our module, large room book. God, we almost ran smack. You almost ran smack into that trap, just so you know. Whoa! Why did it move so fast? There, ghost trapper. Let's select our bear trap fest. Can I make anything? Sad thing, no. Ooh. Hi there. Have a seat and then we'll talk. The Sierra Madre. Mm, beauty, isn't she? 
she the one who invited you here? Or maybe you didn't catch her voice on the radio. Woke up confused like some of the others. Least you're still breathing. By the way, don't get up or make any sudden motions, no matter how uncomfortable that chair gets. The cushions just for show. Better be sure. Our charger are gonna kill us both. Sounds like you've done some blue collar construction work your life, your Ma must be proud. Still. Get up without my permission. I'll blast your ass so far through your head, it'll turn the moon cherry pie red. So, let's keep this sweet and polite and finish our conversation with no misunderstanding. I'll save my questions for the end. Please go on. And that's what I've missed. A rapt audience. Just because I work in entertainment doesn't mean I'm a moron. I heard my necktie beeping. I know what that means. I'm part of this somehow. I want out of this contract. And if you put me in it, I'm not going to be too happy. So whatever's going on here, if you're part of all this, you're taking orders from me. Who knows who still assumes you'll be preparing for a... Oh, your negotiation, your negotiation skills assume you're bargaining for a position of strength. What are you talking about? Our collars, these neckties are linked. I die, you die. This thing on my neck isn't for show, the bomb goes off, and so do I, so do I, and you too. The colors, these neckties are linked, and I die, you die. That's an interesting clause. That's a real bad contract you have. We have. I'm sorry. It's now that I've met you, agree to come with me, or get from his chair and cast folks. Hope the charge or not. I only need you breathing. Plus, I'm gonna bring you to the point of death. Bring you to the point of death, then you leave me. Sure, it makes sense now. I've met you. <laughs> all right, all right. Looks like Medage finally caught me. I'm listening, partner. What's next if we're death till we part? Me the family here. What's next? We'll find out more about. We'll find out more about our contract back at the fountain. Not leaving me much choice. The fountain, huh? Hope the hologram's still working and the battery's running strong. I'll follow you. I'm not going alone, trust me. Not like I'm a coward or anything. I'm not running around town without an escort. I'm serious. One of the locals catches us. We aren't coming back. And I'd like to keep an eye on you. You measure now keep going. Fine, get up and follow me. All right, all right. But you already got company, so tell you what. Don't have to take the long way back. There's a shortcut across the way. It's through the cloud, but if I'm with you, I can help you through. Where did he go? Good, I don't have to care. Ah, oh, that stuff is brutal. I don't even know if it does anything right now. It hasn't actually done any damage to me. Oh, I've essentially gone. Pip boy. Maybe I'll tear it off your arm. Whoever's on my neck. Oh wow, it actually does quite a bit of damage. Maybe I need to go in here. No mission box, I'll take it. Okay. Go, 
Now we learn. We, we stay the hell away from the red mist. Holy smoke, that's terrible. What on earth? It's Tim back. Anyway, I gotta end this episode here. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell down below to know if I upload the next episode of this or just a new episode. Alright, peace. Out.